Okay, uh, guys, I'll be taking you into the latest science uh, on the JSS level. And today, being our first meeting, uh, we'll be looking at uh, weather and climate. A lot of students always complain about science that uh, they don't understand, and the exams, a lot of them, like in theory. And this uh, subject is never uh, uh, subject that to fail. You have to always do very marvelous things in uh, integrated science. So you just come and uh, subscribe to our, our channel, and we will do our possible best to help you people to also uh, improve your learning in mathematics. I hope you are okay with it. And my name is uh, Simon, and my brother's name is uh, Sir Prince. Yeah. So we will do. We, we are here to help you, and you have to also help us. Uh, Gain and you also gain. So let's first look at the mean or the difference between weather and what climate. Uh, when you say weather, weather is the atmospheric condition of a particular place by a long period of time. Something, uh, sorry, short period of time rather. This one is short period. For example, we have a uh, rainfall, we have uh, the uh, humidity and so on. So this one, it always occurs in a short period. I hope you understand. So they can ask you to uh, differentiate between weather and climate. If weather is a short period of time, this one, climate, it is what? A longer period of time. Example, season by season. We have the dry season and wet season. When you look at the, the dry season, it Always start at we can say early uh, October and end at uh, let's take it at March. So when you look at this one, it, is, it takes uh, a long, a longer period of time. And this one, uh, the weather when uh, it wants to rain, just uh, a short hour it rains and stops. So that's the reason why we are saying this one is short period of time, and the climate is what a longer period of time. And if you don't understand anything, you can come to our comment section and uh, ask us any question, and we will answer it for you. Okay, now let's just run and look at elements of what? Weather. Elements of weather. When you say elements of, of weather, things. That comes together. Oh, when you immediately you see them, you see that, oh, this one, they are what? It's a weather. Yes, or it's a weather condition. One, we will talk of rainfall. We have rainfall. Rainfall. Then two, we look at humidity. Three, we look at Light intensity or sunshine. Five, we have the wind speed. We have six, uh, air pressure. So when you look at this one, these are some of the elements of weather. And you have the instrument you, you can use to measure them, to measure uh, all the, the, these elements. So we will take them one by one and look at their instrument used to measure uh, them and look at their effect to their what? The environment. When you say effect, we have the, what, the positive effect and the what, negative effect. When you say something is negative, something which is not what good, bad, and positive. Something which is what good. I hope you understand. Okay, so let's take this one. The rainfall. I hope uh, even uh, when they give birth to what a child today, and you ask him or her what is rainfall, the child will tell you that. Even they don't they, they don't know anything much about rainfall, but they will tell you some uh, an amount of droplets from the what the atmosphere. That's why they call what rainfall. So the instrument used to measure rainfall, we call it a rain gauge. So let's look at them. 
Here is what rain for the elements. Here is my table. Elements. So we have the elements here, and you have the instruments used to measure them. First one, the rain for we have rain day. So when they ask you what is the instrument, and this one it comes in your exams. If the final exam, they can ask you which instrument is used to measure rainfall. You tell them that is what rain gauge. So rain gauge is what used to measure the amount of rainfall. Next time when I get the picture of rain gauge, I'll come and show it to you. And you bear in mind that I will bring it and show it to you. Then we look at what humidity. The instrument used to measure humidity is what we call hygrometer. Hygrometer. It is an instrument used to measure what? the amount of what? humidity. I hope you understand. Okay. Then let, let's continue and look at the number three. Light intensity or sunshine. Sunshine or light intensity. The instrument used to measure sunshine or light intensity is what we call light meter. Light what? Meter. They can ask you, what is the instrument used to measure sunshine? You tell them that light meter. And sunshine is the same as what we call what? Light intensity. The intensity of what? Light. Okay. And uh, wind speed. We have wind speed, which is a meter. It is used to measure the what? The speed of what? Wind. The speed of what? A wind. I, I, I will show the pictures, the diagrams to you. In other words, they can bring them and ask you, uh, identify the diagrams below and write their what? Functions or uses. So they can ask, what is the function of what? It depends on you. When you say diagram A is what? Uh, this one, an emometer. Then the function. You said uh, it is used to measure uh, what? Check the speed of what? When? I hope you understand. Then we continue from what? Uh, air pressure. The air pressure here. Yes, our table, we have a, our table here because it can go here. So we have our air pressure. The instrument used to measure air pressure is what we call barometer. Barometer, it is what? An instrument used to measure what? Air pressure. And the last one, I, I didn't uh, write it. The last one is what we call wind wave. Which is a uh, last wind. The instrument is what? Wind. Okay, that's V E V A N E. And it is the instrument used to measure what? the amount of what? wind. Okay, so here are the, what, the elements of weather. And the our instrument used to measure them. In your exam, they can ask you to write it. the instrument used to measure the following elements of weather. Then you, tell, you write the songs for them and they will map you. Maybe we, we have some of them, but uh, these are some, uh, some of the questions they will ask you. Uh -huh. They can ask you what is we have cloudiness. The instrument is made of this one. We call it a cellulometer, but that one uh, I will not add it. These are the basic components or the basic elements of what? Weather. I hope you are okay. If you are not okay, you can come to the comment section and, and write and give us some comments and we'll come and answer your questions for you. Uh -huh. So next time, we are going to continue to look at uh, differences between climate and what? Season, weather chart. Then look at the effect of what? 
uh, this one, uh, air pressure, rainfall. When, uh, for example, let me take this one, the rainfall. For, uh, for instance, we have rainfall. When they can ask you, what is the positive effect of rainfall? Uh, that one, the question, the, the question is what? It's limited to you. They said positive. It means the good things rain. When it rains, it does for what? You. And rainfall does a lot. When it starts to rain, farmers start to what? Farm, and eh? we get a lot of what? Uh, water and the, the this thing. Animals get a lot of water to also what? Drink or consume. I hope you understand. And the negative effect, you see, flooding or cats. The environment becomes bushy. I hope you understand. So these are some of the what in the positive effect and the what the negative effect of what the elements of what climate and weather. Thank you. And next time uh, we are going to continue with that. By our way, try to help us to also uh, get something. And we too, we are here to help you. Uh, if you have seen that we are uh, we haven't done uh, something right, you can bring your comment and correct us. Thank you. May God bless you for watching.